In this video, we're going to prove pretty nice theorem. going to show that the sine of 10 degrees must be irrational. How do you show that any number is irrational? You show that it's not rational. Proof. Let us try it. Now, we know the sine of 30 degrees is one half. And we know that this is 3 times 10 degrees. So, what is the sine of 3 theta equal to? What is that equal? So, we're going to prove this using De Moore's theorem. We know that the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta to the third power, on one hand it equals to cosine of 3 theta plus i times the sine of 3 theta. Basically, as long as that power is an integer, you multiply the power by the angle. That's on one hand. On the other hand, if we cube this using the binomial theorem, we will get that it equals to the cosine cubed of theta plus cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine squared theta times i sine theta plus 3 cosine of theta times i squared sine theta sine squared theta plus i cubed sine cubed theta Now, let us clean this up a little bit. This is equal to cosine cubed theta plus, I'll put the i in the front, plus 3i cosine squared theta times the sine of theta. Now, i squared is negative 1, so we get negative 3 cosine theta times sine squared of theta minus, if i cubed is minus i, minus i sine cubed theta. And what we want to do at this point is collect the real terms and the imaginary terms. So we have cosine cubed theta minus 3 cosine theta times the sine squared of theta plus i. This term is imaginary and so is that one. And I factored it out to i. We have 3 cosine squared theta times sine theta minus sine cubed theta. And remember that this last line is equal to this. So the real part is cosine of 3 theta and the imaginary part is the sine of 3 theta. So we found out how to write the sine of 3 theta. So if we want, we can come up here 
and we could say that this is equal to 3 cosine square theta times the sine of theta minus sine of theta or g. So we have this alternative way of writing the sine of 3 theta. But we still don't like the way we have it. Sine of 3 theta is equal to this. It, it equals to 3 times cosine square theta times sine theta minus sine cube of theta. But for cosine squared theta, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared. Because I would just love to have only sines. So this is equal to 3 times 1 times sine theta. 3 sine theta. 3 times negative sine squared theta times another sine theta would be negative 3 sine cubed theta minus another sine cubed theta. I don't care what these are. You have you take away three of them and then you take away one more. You took away four of them. What are the them that you took away four of? Sine cubed thetas. So sine of 3 theta is equal to this. And this here is really important. Because if we let theta be 10 degrees, then the left side will be sine of 30 degrees. So we let theta equals 10 degrees. So the right side now is 3 times sine of 10 degrees minus 4 times the sine of 10 degrees all cubed. How about we let x equal to the sine of 10 degrees. We're making two substitutions. This here is going to become the sine of 30 degrees. This will become 3 times sine of 10 degrees, but ten, sine 10 degrees, we're calling x. Same thing over here, it's minus 4 times x cubed. Now remember, sine of 10 degrees is a solution to this. If I replace x with sine of 10 degrees, I'll have sine of 30 degrees on the left, and on the right, I will have 3 times the sine of 10 degrees minus 4 times the sine cubed of 10 degrees. But this is just what this says. It's an identity. It's true for any angle, including 10 degrees. It's true for every angle, including 10 degrees. Okay, so th this is an identity. This is an identity assuming those definitions. Okay, like I said at the beginning, that's a half. So a solution to this equation that will have been written down in a moment, a solution to that equation in red is sine of 10 degrees. And I'm going to show that this equation has no rational roots. First, I hate a half. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I get 1 is equal to 6x minus 8x cubed. And since the leading coefficient is negative, I'm going to bring everything to the left side. 
So we have that 8x cubed minus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, what are the, remember, sine of 10 degrees is the solution to this. If you actually take your calculator and you compute 8 times the sine of 10 degrees, all cubed, make sure you're in degrees, minus 6 times the sine of 10 degrees, you will get negative 1. And when you add the 1, that you're supposed to add, you will get 0. It's the way it is. This is an identity. So this equation on the bottom left has a solution. Well, one of its solution is sine of 10 degrees. Now, let's look at the rational root test. The only numbers that go into 1, fortunately, are plus minus 1. The numbers that go into 8 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, and plus minus 8. Now, the possible rational roots are one of these numbers divided by one of those numbers. That is the possible rational roots are plus minus 1 divided by plus minus 1. I'll just leave it like that. Plus minus 1 divided by plus minus 2. Well, that just gives plus minus a half. Now, I'll take that numerator and I'll divide it by plus minus 3. And that numerator divided by plus minus 4 and over 8. Now, just to show you, if you have plus minus 1 and you divide it by plus minus 3, you can, you might argue you get four answers. I can use plus and plus. Or I can use plus and minus. Or I did every I used the plus for both signs on the bottom with both signs on the bottom. So now let's deal with that minus sign. I can have minus one over plus three, or I can have minus one over minus three. Well the thing is is that this one and that one are the same, so we don't have to repeat it and a negative divided by a positive is negative, and a positive divided by a negative is negative. They're both negative one-third. So all I got was positive one-third and negative one-third, better known as plus minus a third. Now, I'm not going to work this out, but if you took two, four, six, eight, those ten numbers, and one by one you plug them in for x, the left side will not be zero. That is, these are not solutions. Okay? In fact, there are no rational solutions. There are no oops, rational 
solution. Therefore, the sine of 10 degrees, which is a solution, since it's not rational, must be irrational. That completes the proof. If you like this video, leave me a comment. If you didn't like this video, leave me two comments. If there's any videos you like to see me make up, just ask. Most of all, watch and learn. See you in the next video.